Hey guys, this is Eric Wagner with Wagner Racing with another video. I'll try to make this one as short as possible because this one is not one that I ported, but I wanted to show you this because it's an intake that's brand new from Brodex or at least it's been out for more than a year. Good luck finding information about it at all or even a picture. I'm on the website. This is for a big block Chevy and it's for a, really for a bigger cubic inch engine if you're wanting for something smaller, this is not it. This one is slightly different than like your 2020, 2021. That one that they've had out for quite a while, this one is different. It's for, it, basically it's bigger. So I'll show, go through some of the differences and kind of give you an idea just what you're looking at. I really think this will be a pretty good intake for a large cubic inch steel or with nitrous. So let's look at some of the differences. Now, looking down here, it's much harder to see because of course, I'm using my flashlight, there you go. The plenum is dramatically different because it's not what's added, it's what's missing. And what's missing is, down here on the floor, there used to be a turtle in the other, other version. No turtle, so that's one thing. Other thing, you see how you see this line that goes across? It looks like what they did is they took the other manifold and they milled it back, making your plenum larger and your runner shorter. Also, and you can kind of tell when you look at the runner dividers, and I'm sorry about the lighting. You see, nah, I'm just gonna move my flashlight. There we go. Nope, tell my hand gets in the way. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get a better flashlight. Just a second. Sorry about that. Do, 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 do. Here we go. I made it worse. Okay. The divider, you can kind of tell where the, through the line here, especially on that one. It looks like they cut the dividers back some too. So besides milling off the sides here to make the plenum larger. It looks like they cut down the dividers because the last one used to make sense, came out further and then swooped in. And then if you look at it from this side, let me get a flashlight, try to shine it that way. There we go, there, that's better. Sorry about that part, but you can see how it's flat milled here. It looks like they milled back. So what might've been here, milled it back this way too. They made it larger. So that's a pretty good difference. The roof's more swept in that way. So pretty much the major difference is the plenum is much larger on this version. It's larger, the runner is a little bit shorter because it gives you more area when you shorten the runner. So there's definitely more cross section here. That's the reason why this one's probably not gonna be working well on the smaller cubic inch stuff. Pretty much, uh, well, if you have a 565 might work on if you turn some RPMs, not like your basic bracket deal. Um, but on a bigger engine like a 582, it'd be probably pretty good and up, especially with some RPM. Now this one, by the way, there's two ways in which this comes. And I should also point out this intake is not cheap. It's actually pretty expensive. And for instance, this is it in the book. This is from 2020. So this is the one I have here, 21110, 725 list. Now I'm a Brodex dealer, if you call me, um, I'll give you a better price than that, but I can't advertise that. Um, anyway, there are some differences. If you look at them, the next one there is like 897. You wonder what the difference is. This one's CNC port matched. Um, it, I will say it's probably cheaper just to have me port match it than the CNC one because also the CNC one that they do typically is not the great. It's perfectly matched to the port size that it's supposed to, but it tapers inwards, and I'll show you on this. So in case you're wondering what it looks like unported, it looks like this. You know, like how in the world would that ever fit a, um, you know, an SR20? This is the gasket for the SR20. Just to show you how much difference there is. I'm gonna try to line it up as best I can with one hand. Okay, I'm doing my best. Oh, got it. Nope. It's like, there we go. That's about what it's pretty close. So you can tell it's, you're gonna have to remove some material for sure, but not as much as you think. This is a gasket, by the way, I use for mock-up and stuff, so ignore the lines. So, and what I mean by the, the port match from Brodix is it will hit here, but it tapers. So it goes, instead of going straight in, it's actually more like that. So it, yeah, it's hitting the lines, but it's like this the whole way. So it's almost tapered out instead of being like it's supposed to, which would be straight in. Uh, or straight making a turn it's just not ideal so anyway that's this intake that you guys would like to see it it is new so it fits they've got it to fit the 10-2 deck the 9-8 deck um, and all 
also they've got CNC port matches both ways. And also I think this will work on a rectangular port because you could tell from the batch you could probably do it. So that's this in tank. Um, I was I don't know how long the wait is on this one because I ordered this one on Wednesday and had it on Friday. However, and this is today's date is uh, May 11th. However, I've heard they're having some real difficulties getting those. So I can't say. Some of my other stuff I've ordered has been on a long, long wait. So I can't answer that. But if you have any questions or anything, just let me know. That's this what video is about, the new Burdick's intake. Um, also, since I've been doing it on each video, a restaurant recommendation. If you're in a if you're in Tulsa area and you're just home cooking type of guy, I just want to try some stuff. You don't want to branch out and you just want basic staples. There's this restaurant called Shiloh's, and I'll warn you, it's for old people. Straight up. You go in there, usually it's old people, like 60s up. Maybe a few people in their 40s and 50s, but usually 60s up. However, if you're into home cooking, they nailed it. They have pot roast that I always get, which is delicious. Their sides are amazing, and they have rolls. Or, or, oh, I love them, which I know it sounds like you sound like an old person. Well, I can't help it. I know what I like, and I like that food. So um, really good there. They have good cinnamon rolls, too. Anyway, there's that. You guys, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, just let me know.